Welcome. So this topic uh, came about from a discussion I had with a friend a couple months ago, and he was describing an experimental LLM project that they tried to implement at work. And it was supposed to sort of uh, extract information from documents in sort of a production scale. And after about two weeks of effort, they just sort of gave up on it that it wasn't going to work and they were going to go back to their old way. And as I was sort of quizzing him to understand what went wrong or to be able to help him, it was really interesting some of the things that didn't happen. And I wanted to share those things here because I think these steps are really essential to successful projects and I wanted to share them here. So hopefully they can go and help your projects too. The first important step in a successful LLM project is prompt engineering. And that's where there's a methodical and organized approach to iteratively improving the performance of the prompt. I actually think that in, in my experience, uh, prompt engineering has had more of an impact than any sort of slight difference in the model that we use. Um, and, and right now, it's such a fast moving field. In, in my sort of practical experience, there's a whole gamut of, of different ways that you can do prompt engineering. I've done it all the way from like tight sort of focus groups with um, the users where we sort of workshop the prompt and we sort of or we sort of workshop the deliverable and work backwards to improving the prompt. I've rolled my own uh, prompt engineering pipeline in Python where I can sort of iteratively uh, score the prompt against the same data set. And now there's like lots of automated platforms that people are trying to sell you. I'm most familiar with Microsoft's Prompt Wizard. Uh, and then this sort of helps you like automatically iteratively improve the performance of the prompt. But um, for any project, this really needs to make sure that's a step on your plan. The second important step in any LLM project is validation. And this is where you have a, a data set of standardized questions that you can check the performance of your agentic pipeline over time. So as you make those small and big changes throughout these complex pipelines, you can see and understand and quantify the types of fluctuations you can expect to see over time. And this has been a really big help as I sort of explain to stakeholders certain behaviors that we see in the LLM and also so to as a sanity check and to understand uh, the, the nature of the changes we're making to the pipeline. And this is a really helpful step and really important. And this can be anywhere just like 30 questions, 300 or more. Um, I'm most familiar with sort of building these out in Python and sort of running them on a schedule myself or running them when we make a major change. Uh, but there's all sorts of people that want to sell you this as well these days and something that's called evaluation. But I think ultimately, if uh, at your next uh, planning meeting for an LLM application, if you make sure that these two points are covered, it will definitely help your project succeed. Thanks.